Thanks everybody for joining the Manny Hall Show once again. I have with me Sharita. Hey, I've been trying to get this interview planned with this young lady for a while now, right? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally are meeting up. Yeah. Finally get a chance to hear about her story, her journey as an entrepreneur, all the great things that she's doing around the city of Cleveland. You guys get ready, tune in, Manny Hall Show. That's a vibe. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, that's a vibe. Oh, it's a vibe. And that's a vibe. Yeah. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Please tell the people your name and what you do. Yes, my name is Sharita Carthon, and I am an event and brand strategist with Urban Classic Design Studios. Awesome. Now, tell us what that is exactly. Okay, so an event and brand strategist is someone who comes into your event or comes into your business and strategically guides you through the process of being able to know exactly what it is that you're going to need to make your event or your business completely excellent. Nice. <laughs> so what made you get started doing that? Well, it's a funny story. I ask everyone I ever meet if they've ever gone to Kim's Wings. And I know people are probably thinking, why Kim's Wings? Mm -hmm. So when you go to Kim's Wings, there is a board on Kim's Wings, and it has everybody's advertisements. And yeah. uh -huh. you, know, you know, if you want to find a babysitter, everything's on that wall. All right. And so what I did one day is I just saw a couple of advertisements and it looked like the people just kind of went to the library and printed it off. Yeah. And I got this inspiration that if I take their content and the information off the wall and I redesign it, then I could give them a call and say, hey, I know you don't know who I am, but here like is that. just mm -hmm. <laughs> some really good ideas yeah. on how you can make your brand, your business, your local, your business card really dynamic. And so a lot of those people um, actually became my first customers. Nice. You know, those people say, wow, you know, I really like what you did. I wasn't even thinking that way. Because what so many people do not understand is that there is a psychological attachment to any type of advertising mm -hmm. or marketing that Absolutely. you do. Absolutely. And so, <laughs> and so when people look at your flyer or people look at your bag or your t-shirt, mm -hmm. they there's a certain psychological response that they have. Either it's, I don't want to deal with that person or I don't want to go to that event or, oh my God, where is that event? I have to be there. I have to be a part of it. And so what I did was just really took a lot of... Um, did a lot of psychological testing with design, and it just worked. <laughs> and that small gesture, that small idea of just taking people's, um, their, what they already had and redesigning it has led me to now, um, 20 years later, working with some... Said 20 years later? Yeah, about, about 20 years later. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I started when I was about 19, nice. 19, 20. I was in college, yeah. almost finishing college. It di just didn't really, I, the career that I wanted to go with, it didn't work out. Gotcha. So I said, well, what do I want to do? And then I took a, I was getting ready to graduate from college, but before it's university. And my last year, they gave me an option to have an elective class. Because, you know, you just do throwaway classes for right. the last year of college. Right. And that throwaway class was an actual graphic design class. And in that graphic design class, I learned the elements of design. And I was hooked uh, ever since. And again, going back to Kim Swing, yeah, being able to really test my skills from that class and being able to design for people who are already in business and right. really needed to either attract more customers or make more money or, you know, gather more sales, create more attention for themselves. That's gotcha. how I first clients. So. so you would take that flyer or whatever that you saw mm -hmm. and you see the normal concept that they wanted is kind of like make it a lot more creative. Yes, make it a lot more creative. And the thing is, a lot of people didn't realize there's an audience that you're trying to reach. There is a demographic of people who really need what you're trying to offer, right. but they don't realize that because your flyer is a specific way, mm -hmm. that there's no way you reach that customer. Gotcha. Or if you reach that customer, they'd be probably skeptical about even working with you because maybe the flyer or the advertisement doesn't 
appear to be serious or they, it appears to look cheap or appears to not be a quality and so I taught them listen there's a way for you to have a quality design and it not be so expensive and you get even more of a result gotcha. from just doing what you already did but just tweak it just a little bit so what made you learn the psychological aspect of it well there was one um, there was one flyer that I did and it was actually for a celebrity who I now work with and I can tell you it was for Brandy. Okay. And I I did it a long time ago because I really love Brandy and I she influenced me a lot with Moesha and her mm-hmm. music and stuff. And I did this flyer and I, I actually took a flyer that she had, I redid it and And you it, used that same concept of saying, Okay, mm-hmm. This is what Brandy has. I'm going to redesign mm-hmm. it. And, and which, how did you send it to her? So I sent it to, uh, the, I think at that time she had an uh, email of her booking agents and stuff like that. Gotcha. People who were handling promotions for that gotcha. particular event. Gotcha. And so I sent it to them and they immediately, they immediately got back to me and said, whoa, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Like, how did you think of this? Mm-hmm. And they said, well, what we'll do, I said, listen, just... I don't want anything. I don't want any money. Um, if you can just test it out. You should have said, no, I want some money. <laughs> well, at the time. No, I, I get it. Like, I get it. I get it. <laughs> at the time, I was like, this is big. They even was, for yeah, me, yeah, at the yeah. time, I'm like, it's a I'm huge dumb. opportunity. Yeah, I, yeah. Just wanted, I just wanted a response. I just gotcha. wanted them to respond. And they did. And they did it instantly. And they said, okay, what we'll do is we'll test this. And for that particular event, she sold it out. She sold mm. it out within days. So how did you see this flyer? Where was it posted at? Like on a I website? I think at that time, oh gosh, it was so long ago. I think Facebook was really, really new. Okay. And they still had MySpace. And I think it was like on MySpace or something like that. Gotcha. If I can remember. But I know MySpace is like ancient to gotcha. the days now. But they didn't even have like Instagram. Sharita, I love that idea. <laughs> right. Like that's really, really yeah. interesting that you yeah. did that. I love that. Yeah. And so... Now, if you think about it now, a lot of artists, even on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, they now do pictures of artists, you know, that they Mm -hmm. hope that the artists will kind of catch on to. But the thing is, they don't realize most of the artists that kind of catch on to their art, it's really innovative. It's really eye-catching. People Mm -hmm. are really, they're responding to it, they're liking it, they're commenting. So. It's weird that something that really started me in this business is something that's being done over and over again by a lot of artists and designers and um, people who are really trying to get noticed. All right, so take us down. I mean, I'm not asking you to share your trade secrets, but <laughs> I want to know, and they like. probably want to know too. So, yeah. you know, in terms of the psychological aspect, mm-hmm. is it color schemes? Is it certain shapes oh yeah what what is it okay so um what i'll do is i'll talk about a certain piece that okay um right now okay so if you can see this i'll hold it up okay i'm gonna zoom in on them okay if you can see this we can see i'll bring the t-shirt out as well and you see that yeah okay so I'll just put this right here while I talk. Um, this is Christina Johnson. Okay, so Christina Johnson, for those of you who don't know Christina Johnson, Christina Johnson is the former wife of singer CeeLo Green. Gotcha. Okay. And so for this particular thing, um, I was online and I saw I just saw a picture of her. Now I noticed that she didn't have a logo. Um, But I wasn't going for that. I just saw that she didn't have a picture, and I just really noticed two very distinct things about her and her, about her, that she could actually use. And it's her glasses and her red lipstick and her lips. She has very full lips if you've ever seen her. And so what I did was I took her picture. This is actually her picture on here. Mm -hmm. And I transposed her picture into art. Mm. And what I did was I, I jumped on Instagram and I said I had to just... How do you know how to do all this stuff, <laughs> I'm like so well, fascinated I, right I, now. I, 
uh, Photoshop, and um, wow. a lot of this is on Photoshop, Illustrator. I mm. use Illustrator, Photoshop. I'm so impressed. Yes, and so um, I designed this, and I said, you know, I put it on my Instagram, and I just tagged her to it, and I said, I had to get this design out. It's just been in my heart for so long, and the next day, guys, the next day, Christina Johnson reached out to me and she said, oh my God, I'm using this. This is going to be my next logo. Now, at the time, she was working on a, um, a inspirational conference that she does every single year. And this, the year, well, which is last year, she used this actual design in everything she did. Wow. Like, her mask, her t-shirts, her back. She, well, she had a, a motivational book. She put it on her cake. She put it on, I mean, every, her step and repeat, everything she wow. did. She used this logo. Damn and so now when you see this logo, Sharita Carthon did that. <laughs> so this is just I love it. one idea. So I'm going to answer your question about being able to know exactly what that is. And all of her clients, everyone who she worked with and affiliated with or still does affiliate with, um, they said that they noticed, again, her hat her glasses and her lipstick mm. and the thing is what you have to know about design and designing anything here's a trade secret is that every single person has a distinct type of feeling that they give off gotcha. and whether it be in the color of course her color was the red lipstick in her hats and so it's identification. Mm. So if I can identify a specific thing about you, so I'm gonna pick on Manny real quick. Yeah, tell <laughs> so, me. Hey, so, I, you know what? I was, I was gonna ask you. So, <laughs> so give it to me. So, but if I had to create a brand for you, I would immediately go for your the, the bald head and mm. the in the beard. Gotcha. Like everything about that would be like. And I would concentrate on that. And gotcha. I would take that, the, the beard and the hair, and the, the bald head, and I would completely go 15 levels deep with that concept. Mm, gotcha. You know? And then once you go 15 levels deep, you come back up, and then you have a banner and a step and repeat and all of these things and a t-shirt, all of these things mm. that completely represents that. So every time someone sees that banner or a pin or a t-shirt, anything, they're going to automatically get the feeling of being around you. They're going to automatically feel like, okay, I'm around him. The feeling that I get when he talks to me, the feeling that I get when he interviews me, I will automatically associate that feeling. It's almost like going to McDonald's. I feel like I'm getting a massage. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so right? weird. I feel so fuzzy, warm and fuzzy right now. Well, because what people don't realize is design is a very, it's art. And so when you really think about who you are, what you are, when people are designing, think about why you like a photo. Think about why do you like going to a specific place because mm -hmm. there is an association or a feeling attached to that that you don't want to forget, gotcha. that you want to hold on to. Gotcha. And so when we are designing events, and, and I just came back from New York, we were, my company was, um, um, we were hired to do the event for Bishop Marvin Sapp. So I don't even know if you guys yeah. know mm -hmm. Bishop Marvin Sapp, but our uh, team was brought in to do all of their passes. And so I can show you a little yeah, bit of our sure. passes. Mm -hmm. The past for Marvin Sapp, I didn't, I didn't bring that one. But um, just to show you, just some of the um, event passes um, that we've done. I don't know if nice. you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Sharp. Double sided, mm -hmm. you know. And so, again, everyone likes to feel like a VIP, okay? Yeah. Everybody wants to feel like they are, they are number one, you know. And so... It's not just the design, it's also the feeling, okay? So if you like to be elite, when people come to our events, they feel like number one. You walk in, you're VIP, you have a pass, you, you know, you're in a, in a suite where you're eating nice hors d'oeuvres and, you know, chocolates and all of those. I mean, just really like top of the line stuff. And so that's how we, 
we really separate ourselves from everyone else because not only do we offer that experience, but we create the experience that you want to have, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. whether it be an event, whether it be a design, a flyer, we create the feeling. All right, Trude, I'm so, but anyway, <laughs> woo, back to the interview, my gosh, yes, you got me, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, yes. I got to regroup. Come on. <laughs> so, yes. so with all that you're doing, like what mm-hmm. gives you the energy and the tenacity to keep going even when challenges come? I love it. And I, and I, I people think, people say, I'm crazy. Yeah. Okay. I'm crazy. And anyone who does a specific thing for a long period of time, you either have to be out of your mind and crazy or really love it or a combination of both. True. And I, I love it. True. I, it gives me pure joy to see people walking around smiling, knowing that something that I created or I helped to put on their body or on a mug or their cup that it helped them to feel better, yeah. you know? Sometimes we think that we have to feel better by taking a drink or taking drugs, but there's different type of types of highs mm-hmm. that you can get from wearing a t-shirt. And this is yeah. like, what? But think about this. You're not just wearing any t-shirt. You're wearing your t-shirt. That's true. Yours. And you're like, oh. You know, so like even the shirt that I'm wearing, this is my shirt. So every time I put on this shirt and it says uh, the Summit uh, Power Brand is probably backwards, but it's called the Power Brand. And every time I think about power branding, I'm like, wow, that came from me. One of the greatest things that we have to remember as human beings is that we're all here to do something specifically. And so sitting down helping someone to actually manifest that and actually be able to see that in in full form is a gift that is a gift because a lot of people think about how many people you know right now in your family and other people's family who have who has amazing ideas but because of fear or because there's something that they feel like they they want to do but they they don't quite do it but think about all of those people who actually have the opportunity to say okay you know what I'm going to do it and then they come and see Sharita and then I put their t-shirt the very exact same t-shirt that they had in their mind or the very exact same mug or the very exact same event that they always wanted to do from maybe childhood and I'm able to help them do that that's an addiction. Feeling. That's an addiction right there. I got you. You know? That, make, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, and it's the same. And we're definitely going to have to talk after this about a lot of different things. <laughs> right. um, because, uh, <laughs> you know, I have my company, Manny Hall & Associates, which is a small business and entrepreneur ecosystem. Yes. That helps in every single area from graphics to videography, photography, business cards, uh, business startup kits, every single thing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, everything that you're talking about, I completely understand because when I do some video work, me and my team, and we help get something off the ground for a company, that joy of just mm-hmm. like, it's not so much even that I played a part, but just to see them smile. Yes. And I know. Yes. That let's say I only had 1%, like, <laughs> yes. yep. I did that. Yes. And that feels good that you are able to help change somebody's perspective and mm-hmm. you see them struggling in the beginning and mm-hmm. not knowing which direction they're going and you just bring something to life. So That's so true. That's dope. I love yes. that. Now, along your journey and everything that you're doing now, mm-hmm. what would you say inspires you the most about Sharita? That I don't quit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I get discouraged a lot. I mean, I really, and I, I won't, I, I definitely won't say that I've always had flowery times and mm-hmm. I never get discouraged and everything is okay. The only difference between me and a lot of people is that even if I go down just for a little bit, 
I'll go down, I'll think about things, but I don't, I don't absolutely quit. I don't take myself out of the game. Gotcha. And so when you don't take yourself out of the game, you're also giving yourself that opportunity to come back and say, okay, you know what? Maybe I can do it different. Maybe I can be more innovative because as artists, you know, just like Erica Badu says, we're always sensitive about what we do. You know, mm-hmm. we're always like, and did I do the right thing? We're always questioning. Um, you're always wanting to do more. And so for me, even when there's times where I don't feel as confident, there's times where I don't feel like, you know, I see other people doing even greater things. Yeah. That, you know, people are doing things that I really want to do. I say, okay, you know what? Stay in the game, but just don't quit. Don't Just don't take yourself out of the game. Gotcha. Gotcha. That totally makes sense. Yeah. And it's sometimes difficult to stay in the game mm-hmm. when you're tired, when you're frustrated, when things aren't going your way. Yes. And yes. to your point about some individuals doing stuff that you might aspire mm-hmm. to do. And it's not that you can't do it, but the timing sometimes is just in your way. Yes. Yes. Um, another thing I notice, another thing that it allows me to stay in the game is I stay in my lane. Gotcha. I know that the best thing that I, the, the thing that I'm very good at is, is events and being able to execute a great event. Gotcha. Now, someone says to me, well, do videography. I can't, I, that's not my, that's not my ministry. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. <laughs> You know, somebody will say, well, just do this. I can't do what you're doing. You know, well, be an author and do this. You know, I found that the most effective thing that I've ever done is be consistent in one lane. Mm. Because when I'm consistent, consistent meaning all the time, you know, when you hear about Sharita, you're hearing about Sharita's events. And an event that Sharita is around or doing and, and, you know, have designed some type of feeling around. So, you know, that's what you can come to me for. Gotcha. And that, that to me has been the saving grace because I'm not all over the place. Right. You know, and a lot of people are. And it's just like, what do you do? Well, I'm a barber. And then, <laughs> you know, I do nails. And, mm-hmm. You know, and it's just yeah. like I do events. It's, Please, right, it just, is a lot. I don't know what what can I come to you for. Absolutely, and people really need to be able to identify quickly what you do. Exactly. And at this that same point, you need to be able to have your thirty second elevator, mm-hmm. fifteen second even sometimes. Yes. Very very quickly because sometimes you don't have a lot of time. You beat a big investor or somebody really really huge in the game. Like, all right, tell me what you do. Like, well, so when <laughs> I started off, I was doing this, and then. No. But for the past few years, I've been, and then right now, well, I got this work. Here, here, check this out. Hold up. Let me get my phone. I'm going to show you this picture. And then hold, hold, hold up real quick. No. Ain't nobody got point. time for that. Get to get the point. Get to the point. Yeah. Yes. And that That's huge. Yeah. So what do you have next on the horizon? What's something huge that Sharita is doing without telling us too much? Okay. Just like something that you really been thinking about, praying about, whatever. Yes. So, um, in the immediate near future, I am a panelist on for the Small Business Extravaganza Week, and it's all over my Facebook. Um, but one of the biggest things that I do have coming up is um, the release of the Celebrity Sales Method, and uh, I'll just expound on that just a little bit. Was this a book? Yes. Okay. It is a book, and it's 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 specifically talking about. Um, the celebrity sales method is being able to put on any type of event and guaranteeing that event, financial sponsors, money, audience, you know, uh, vendors, all of these things in one and being able to guarantee that even if you are coming out the gate like yesterday, like you just started. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, it's actually for people who have absolutely no idea how to do events. Gotcha. And your first time yeah. out the gate being able to do in a successful event filled with people. No, do you, Here's a method. Do you find that you like individuals that are just starting more so than the seasoned people because they mm-hmm. have that open-mindedness? They do. And the thing is, they're not willing to try. I mean, they... 
people who are brand new to something it's so new and they're willing to learn they're willing to really put forth time to figure things out yeah and and they don't have that comfort zone right and so they are i mean the celebrity sales methods for anybody who has been doing events forever but it's also for people who have never done events and who want to how do i feel how do i fill up a 500 person conference uh my first time out the gate there's a method for that (laughs) this is called and i call it the celebrity sales method and the celebrity sales is because well you have to get the book you know what sarita i'm gonna tell you something about yourself if you didn't know this already you you are such an aggressive okay. salesperson. Oh, okay. <laughs> but but hear me out. <laughs> but you're meek. Okay. And you're very creative with your approach. And you, you seem to be an introvert extrovert. I am. So I it's am. like you you come off this nice and sweet. <laughs> and I really believe you are that way. <laughs> right. But the cool thing about it is is that you're aggressive in a sense of just like, I'm about to help you. You let me help you, I'm about to. C- come here. It's like a mix between grandma, auntie, and that nosy neighbor down the street. Oh, yes. Like, okay. I see what you're doing. I see where you're trying to yes. go. I'm going to help you get there. Yes, absolutely. I am, I'm very passionate about that. I see. I, I... You ain't playing. I love it. I'm very proud. Well, because the thing is, I, I just think there a lot of people want to launch. A yeah. lot of people want to do things. And I just see so many people fall flat on their face. And it's for no reason. And gotcha. it's because you don't know. Gotcha. And the thing is, because I've been doing this for 20 years, I'm, I'm getting ready to be 40 years old. Crazy. But. It's okay. I'm 36. 36. Okay. We good. Yeah, we but, right there. It's cool. <laughs> But there's a method. There's a way to do it the right way. And inexpensively. Inexpensively, gotcha. people. Gotcha. You don't have to be a millionaire in order to do this the right way. I love it. I love it. Yeah. All right. So as we get ready to close, because yes. I don't even know how time went so fast. Like, I'm just sitting here yes, mesmerized. Yes. I was about to put the camera down and just tell you to just keep talking. I'm just going to listen. I say, forget them. Forget it. <laughs> what? Final words of advice would you give somebody that's just starting? Don't quit. Just stick in there. The thing is... But Okay, stop right there, Sharita. Okay. People always say that, but I really think that's I'm, the I'm secret, gonna, though. I I, no, 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 no. Yeah, I was going to say, I really think that's the secret. Yeah. Yes. Listen, 95% of what you're going to do is going to be boring. Okay, mm-hmm. it's going to be the stuff that you don't want to do. Success is not exciting, people. It's not exciting. But if you stay consistent, if you stay consistent and you don't put, take yourself out of the game, you are going to surprise yourself. I love it. You know, because 90% of people think that everyone at the top is at the top because they're special. They're not special. They just didn't quit. Mm. And so, uh, and then the ten percent of people who are up there that didn't quit is just waiting for your company. They're waiting for you to come up with it up there with them That's because they it's just not competition up there. There's no competition. That's it. So my thing is this: if you are very passionate and just not passionate, just not motivated, but if you are dead set on doing what you are really know that you can do. And you know that there's something you have to offer, no matter how it starts, doesn't matter. Just keep going. I love it. Sharita, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. All right, guys, be blessed. Peace.